in December of 2009, I was in Northern Ontario at a broom ball tournament. Um, I got checked from behind, and when I got checked from behind, I spun around, um, I hit the back of my head off the ice, and then slid head first into the boards at the same time. So I hit the back of my head and the top of my head. I got up and I continued playing. There really wasn't much not known about concussions, um, and then that's all I remember of that day. Um, I remember having a headache after, but I don't remember the rest of the game or what I did after or, or anything like that. Once we got home, we went to the hospital right away and uh, they just told me, you know, you got a concussion, two weeks off, no TV, no school, bed rest. So we did that and it just continuously got worse from there. My balance was really bad. Uh, I couldn't be in a room with lights. I just laid in bed all day for two weeks. I went and seen a neurologist in Windsor and he prescribed me a slew of medications, uh, antidepressants to change my brain chemistry, um, uh, anti-seizure medications, and it, it was a lot. It made me very sick actually. It, uh, I was in the hospital a couple times because of the reactions I had to these medications and that was their solution. My uncle Dan works with Dr. Carrick. He takes um, players that Dr. Carrick rehabilitates professional and um, professional players? Yep, yep, professional hockey players. He takes them on the ice afterwards. My uncle Dan was coming through Windsor on his way up to Quebec where he has family um, and I had never met him before. He didn't know that I had a, a brain injury at the time um, so when he met me, he commented to my mom that I looked very sick and he asked why and she told him why and then that's how everything started rolling. Uh, he mentioned um, Dr. Carrick and he, he got me in to see him and I mean I was very lucky because even now it's really hard to get in to see Dr. Carrick. After my first time with Dr. Carrick, um, he asked me to come back and I think I went there about five or six times. Um, and every time they would do something different because I graduated from from what they were doing. And I had my story in the newspaper and then I got a phone call from Dr. Lemo saying, telling me who he was and that he studied under Dr. Carrick and that he's starting functional neurology here in Windsor. And it was really hard to believe at first because for, you know, three years I'd been going back and forth to Georgia driving there. It was it was crazy. Um, so it was so, it was amazing that I had the opportunity to be able to get the treatment I need right here. He checked me out right away. Um, he was able, he had my file, but without looking at my file, he was able to determine what was wrong with me and then looked at my file and confirmed. So, I mean, it's really, it's awesome that he was able to look and, and know exactly what was wrong and then look back to Dr. Carrick's files and say, yep, that's right. You know, I feel like I have a really good life right now. I have a great career. I have a, a home. Everything is just going so good right now. And there's no way I would have been here today without functional neurology. No way.